YouTube, one more time. Um, this is a 2008 BMW 535i, uh, part two of the fuel filter replacement video. Okay, so here we have the sending unit. I'm about to slide it in. Okay. As I said, this is the ring that uh, connects the ground to this little guy right here. I'm not so sure why they put it on right here. No worries. Okay, so that's pretty much how it goes. There's a new ring. Let's go back inside. That's the old one. So, okay, this is an uh, important part. Whenever you try to slide in, you have to be very, very careful. Okay. Try not to force none of these parts because they're all plastic. And so they're very fragile. And the same unit as well. So, all right. I'm gonna pause it for a second. I'm gonna try to connect this to uh, the, the line the main line okay so I get that one connected okay now the second step is the electrical connection then after that the plastic piece and then the next connection and we're we'll be almost done so just as a quick tip this thing um, it happened that when the lights went off um, shot some fuel and I wasn't aware that's the biggest stain. Uh, it sucks. Anyways, just uh, be careful, guys. Try to just, you know, do it as fast as you can. Don't hesitate to just you know, put everything back. Make sure you just don't bend anything. Um, so that's that's it. Give me another minute. I'm gonna put everything back together. Uh, it's very hard to record with one hand you know, while I'm holding this and trying to. Do this so I'm gonna put pause again but you know what's happening right now all right all right so I got the electrical connector um, the other connectors as well okay this electrical connector I put the other piece black black plastic piece and this connector quick quick thing before you slide it in, don't forget to put the the gasket, okay? So, there's only one position. This tab right here will define the position, okay? So, let's go ahead and install the new ring. Uh, I used to say that they might need to be lubricated. In this case, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to slide it in, set it on, and go ahead and put that ring on. Okay, so I put the new ring in. I slide it above this. There's nothing wrong with it. It's gonna go. You're not gonna stretch it. Nothing is gonna happen. So don't worry about it. Okay? After you do this, just make sure you set this thing aside. Because what happens is that uh, when you don't do that, then it's gonna be on your way and you might damage it with the, uh, with the ring. Okay? Alright. So it's pretty essential that 
while you're holding this thing and installing the ring you know you retain the position of the uh, filter as I said there is only one position that it goes so as soon as you you put it in you know you you, you install the ring and you start uh, you know tightening it up um, you're good so just hold it with one hand by using the tool you can go ahead and you know uh, tread it on the, the tread on the ring and then you're good to go so then the following step uh, about the torque I'll post it below I'll, I'll post it on the description below what's the torque specs for this thing but that's pretty much it then you just slide the line back in and put it back together and you're good to go thanks for watching so questions comments